When we look up at the night sky, one star stands out more than almost any other, Betelgeuse, the massive red supergiant marking Orion's shoulder. It is not just bright, it feels close, familiar, almost like a neighbor in cosmic terms. Compared to most stars we study, Betelgeuse is practically next door. To understand its scale, imagine replacing our sun with Betelgeuse. Its outer atmosphere would stretch beyond the orbit of Jupiter, swallowing Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, and the asteroid belt entirely. This single star would dominate the solar system, transforming everything we know about space around us. Its deep reddish glow and colossal size give it a presence unlike any other star visible from Earth. Betelgeuse doesn't feel distant or abstract, it feels personal, as if it belongs to our sky rather than the far universe. That is why the recent discovery of a dramatic 250% increase in brightness, observed by the James Webb Space Telescope, has captured so much attention. When a star that humanity has observed for centuries suddenly brightens this dramatically, it's not just a visual change, it's a message. A surge of this magnitude hints at powerful processes unfolding beneath the surface, revealing activity that normally remains hidden from view. Such an event forces scientists to rethink how massive stars behave as they approach the final chapters of their lives. Betelgeuse is known to fluctuate in brightness, but a jump of this scale is far beyond its usual behavior. Something significant has changed. The star may have temporarily heated up, expanded, or rearranged its outer layers, allowing more energy, especially infrared light, to escape. Another possibility is that the flare comes from the vast clouds of gas and dust surrounding the star, altering how its light reaches us. This is where the James Webb Space Telescope becomes essential. Webb doesn't just see the surface of stars, it can peer into the environments around them. Betelgeuse is anything but simple. Its outer atmosphere is chaotic and alive, filled with enormous rising and sinking currents, molecule formation, dust creation, and powerful stellar winds pushing material into space. Because of this complexity, the brightening isn't necessarily a single flare or explosion. It may be the combined result of several overlapping processes happening at once. Infrared observations are especially valuable because they can pass through dust that blocks visible light, revealing regions that were previously hidden. The increase in brightness could be caused by dust clearing away, newly heated material glowing intensely, or even shock waves moving through the surrounding gas. Even though Betelgeuse is unimaginably large, changes in its outer layers can occur fast enough that, from Earth's perspective, they appear sudden and dramatic. One strong explanation involves enhanced mass loss. Red supergiants don't lose material smoothly. Instead, they sometimes eject massive clumps of gas into space. As this material cools or heats, it can form dust or radiate strongly in infrared light. These outbursts play a crucial role in determining how the star will evolve, and how it will eventually die. How much mass Betelgeuse loses could decide whether it remains a red supergiant, shrinks into a different type of star, or produces a specific kind of supernova. In this sense, the flare is not just an isolated event, it may shape the star's entire future. Another possibility involves giant convection cells. Unlike the Sun, which has millions of tiny surface granules, Betelgeuse has only a handful of enormous convective regions. If one of these regions becomes unusually energetic, it could dominate the star's output and cause a temporary spike in brightness. Webb may even be able to detect these uneven patterns directly, offering an unprecedented view of stellar weather on a scale larger than our entire solar system. Naturally, many people ask the same question. Is this a sign that Betelgeuse is about to explode as a supernova? The honest answer is, Maybe, but not necessarily. Changes in surface brightness alone don't confirm core collapse. However, such a powerful flare may indicate that the star has entered an unusually energetic phase, 
where internal activity is transferring energy outward. This makes infrared spectroscopy especially important. Webb can detect specific molecules, such as carbon monoxide, water vapor, and silicate dust, within Betelgeuse's atmosphere and surroundings. Shifts in these signatures reveal whether regions are heating, cooling, or forming new dust, allowing scientists to watch the star's chemistry evolve in real time. What we're witnessing isn't just a momentary flash, it's a live demonstration of how massive stars interact with their environments. These processes don't only affect the star itself. The material expelled by red supergiants eventually becomes part of new stars, planets, and even the building blocks of life. This event also has implications far beyond Betelgeuse. In distant galaxies, red supergiants appear as unresolved points of light. If stars like Betelgeuse can change brightness so dramatically, astronomers must account for this variability when interpreting the light from entire galaxies. A single observation could be misleading, but long-term monitoring reveals the true nature of stellar populations. The flare highlights just how dynamic Betelgeuse's outer layers are. Energy flows through radiation, convection, pulsations, and shock waves, while dust formation and stellar winds constantly reshape the environment. A 250% increase in brightness suggests that different regions of the atmosphere can reorganize rapidly, responding in complex and unpredictable ways. Dust is a key player in this story. Freshly formed dust can glow brightly in infrared light, while clearing dust can expose hotter layers beneath. Combined with uneven, clumpy outflows, these effects can create sudden brightness spikes that offer valuable clues about how mass is lost and redistributed. Importantly, a bright infrared flare doesn't necessarily mean the star is producing far more total energy. Instead, it may reflect changes in temperature, surface area, or how light is absorbed and re-emitted by surrounding material. Studying these variations helps refine measurements of Betelgeuse's size, luminosity, and mass loss rate. Events like this demonstrate why time domain astronomy is so important. Repeated observations allow scientists to capture rare and extreme moments, revealing how matter, energy, and radiation interact in real time. Betelgeuse becomes a natural laboratory for studying the life cycle of massive stars. In the end, Betelgeuse isn't just getting brighter, it's educating us. It's offering insight into the final stages of stellar evolution, the role of dust and gas in extreme environments, and how massive stars influence the cosmos around them. If you enjoyed this deep dive into Betelgeuse's sudden surge, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share your thoughts below. Do you think this event was driven by mass ejection, giant convection, or something even more unexpected? Thank you for watching, and stay curious as we continue exploring the universe.